So I'm going a, a little bit rogue, but I've been so mad this morning and so upset mm -hmm. about this news that we are abandoning our Kurdish allies mm -hmm. in the Middle uh -huh. East. Mm. These are allies of ours that American soldiers are still continuing to fight alongside. All yeah. we did was arm them and they fought for America. Mm -hmm. And right now we're just saying, we're just gonna leave them and abandon them. Mm -hmm. And to everyone in the White House and every Republican who was mad that President Obama pulled out of Iraq, you feckless, unpatriotic cowards. I cannot believe this is where we're at, <laughs> diplomatic-wise. And I cannot believe this is what, what message is this sending to our allies who have fought alongside us and to our American troops who have fought and died for this. And I cannot believe I'm waking up in the morning seeing this kind of news. And I don't care that he ran on pulling troops out. There's a whole mm -hmm. different thing. We leave this. This is a great day for ISIS and this is a great day for Assad. And shame on everyone who is supporting this. Right. And I'm sorry this is not the topic, but I just right. couldn't come out here today and not say this. No, it's, it's you, very important. Why do you think uh, this administration has decided to do it? It is. He ran on isolationism, which again, I think is bad crap insane for a whole variety of reasons. Yeah. But I also, I think, I, it might be a wag the dog situation. Exactly. I have no that's idea. That's what I think. Well, it's a distraction from the second whistleblower. That's blow. what you I think. You cannot go and say you support our troops if they fought and died for this mission. Yes, but and you know he's never been. He's he never, he, his, he can say it all he wants to, but we've watched. Did it you know when people are supporting the troops. Mm. You know when they're looking out for the troops. This guy's not been doing that. Didn't the, you say, um, Joy, that you researched and said that no one in uh, five or... No one in his family, going back generations, generations. We're just going to leave was the ever in yeah. the army, the navy, the marine. None, right. no, but nobody in the Trump family ever fought in a war. But the vacuum that's going to be ever. left is yes. going to foster and the growth of ISIS. And by the way, when people say we're sick of fighting them, we can fight them over there, or we can fight them over here. And I'm, a, I am a person who believes that this will only get worse as it did after we left in Iraq. But they were all the Kurds mm -hmm. are our allies. Yes, Why they would are. you go up against been. your ally? Because he's selfish and narcissistic. It's about him. We don't care. Isn't we don't care? who have fought for us are now being sent, and all allies yeah. of America are yes. like, we'll abandon you. Yes. Yeah, that's Don't right. we talk yes. about also, distractions all the time? Don't we talk yes. about that but then this who's administration? He's under that. the gun Himself. now. Is this a wag the dog situation? Uh, who, you know I don't know what it is, who is there Whatever it is, it's the it's, first thing to get Lindsey Graham to talk out about that's Trump. So, so I also heard people on Fox speaking out, too. This might be one. Yeah, Brian Kilmeade was seem more angry about this even in the Ukraine call. Actually, I am more upset than the Ukraine yeah, call about but, this. But I, but I, I think, don't care what that means. I think yeah. if you are a Republican, then like the if you're not are. out, if you're not speaking out about I think the Ukraine thing and this, then what are you standing Has for? Has anyone spoken out about this? So I'm not well, that I'm spoken out is against it. I, again, it, this just happened this morning, yeah. and I yeah. woke up and I really I had to read it and then process. If you think I'm mad now, you should have heard me when I first woke up in the morning. And I just think if if you support our allies, if you support people who believe in freedom and democracy and are fighting on the right side, and you still support this at the same time then you're not a conservative. You're yeah. just not, and you're not an America first uh, yeah. individual. Mm. Before, so, and I'm sorry to do no, this no, on your birthday, okay. but I just that's feel like fine. I have no, a flat no, against Trump, Trump. Trump. she'll be thrilled. Okay. Okay. So as long as it's against Trump, happy birthday to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay.